Jackson Armstrong has spent a lot of time in hospital over the years. He's had 10 heart surgeries and he's not yet eight years old. His 11th operation was supposed to take place more than a month ago. And basically we got told at the end of the day at three o'clock that Jackson was being cancelled and they were sending us back home. A tough blow for a family that lives in Kamloops, B.C., four hours away from B.C. Children's Hospital in Vancouver. One month later, Jackson's rescheduled surgery was cancelled again. They don't have enough beds, they don't have enough staff, and basically surgeries are not really happening at this point. A surge of viral illnesses amongst kids is overwhelming children's hospitals across the country, creating a crisis in pediatric care comparable to what adult hospitals faced during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, we are. Where ICUs across the country have reached capacity, emergency departments are full, there's no beds for the kids to go. While most children do recover from these viral illnesses, so far this season, two children have died from the flu. It's why this week, a group of parents and physicians sent an open letter to the premiers and prime minister, stating we are currently in an unprecedented crisis in which kids' lives are on the line. There is a palpable sense of hopelessness amongst parents and those that serve kids on the front lines. Yet we see no tangible signs of action like requiring masks indoors, vaccinating our children and encouraging people to stay home when sick, which often requires uh, paid sick days. With the spread of these infectious diseases not yet at their peak, children's hospitals are bracing for more difficult weeks to come. So while Jackson Armstrong's heart surgery is now scheduled for mid-December, his mom fully expects it will be cancelled a third time. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.